is to actually get on with the quest. So we need this glacial precipitator. What have I got here? I've got a cyclic assembler, an induction smelter. Now, does the induction smelter need... It doesn't need to be here, does it? Let's remove this then. Oh, it looks like I'm going to eat something. So. Yes, it doesn't need to be here at all. So let's simply remove this. And you'll notice I actually had some materials in there, some pulverized obsidian and some lead ingots because I was making some um, hardened glass and the hardened glass I was then using uh, to make some item ducts but not opaque, just the see three ones. And the reason I did that, I have to move this thing around, sit it on the top. Is I wanted to move the sludge boiler down a level. Let's have a quick look at that before I do anything else. See, I moved the sludge boiler just, I made another little bit of level here and moved the sludge boiler down. I'm going to get out of the way because it will do its business from time to time. So I'm not affected by that so much now. In fact, I took it round from here, made some steps down. Okay. Strange enough, that doesn't hurt. Now look, we have another hive in exactly the same spot as the previous one that worked. Ah, that's interesting. These will all have been turned now to artificial hives. And we've got another forestry hive. Forest hive. Mm. So it must be to do with the position. So we'll have to remember that position. In the meantime, we can dig up these. I don't think I need to have big axe users. So. Right, we've got four. Yes, we've now got four artificial house. Ah, do you know what I haven't done? In this chest here, I've got spruce saplings. I've got eight spruce saplings. And I haven't set the filter on this chest. At the moment it's blocked with... Um, I've got to use an empty hand, haven't I? And I want to have those being filtered out of here too. So we can then take, put those up there. Let's go over to the farm planter and just remove a stack of seeds, or at least half a stack of seeds. And that will allow the other ones to come through. And if you notice here now, I've got consumed stack off. So it always leaves one sapling or one seed in that place. So we're able to let those uh, fall in the water again. They should come out. So in here I should have reasonably a large amount of seed and you need a large amount of seed. Now it's just gone down. So they're now going to be planted again. It's amazing I forget to do that quite often actually. If we put this in here now, we can put these seeds in the squeezer to make the bee stuff. And of course we now need to concentrate on something else. Let's just sort this chest and put up here some of the stuff I don't want with me at the moment. What have I got in here that I can put away? Just creeper plant seeds? No. Nope. A seed. Well, taking a whole slot. Let's put that A seed in here. The creeper plant seeds are actually keeping in this one, I think. And the other stuff I keep in here. So now we've got two, actually we've got three pristine, oh no. Two pristine forests and one ignoble um, meadows. So what I'm going to do is try to make two hives. Let's do that first, I think. I know it's not following the quest, but I've got a feeling that somehow it's going to come up so what do we need now we need to make a apri if that's the right word I'm not sure it is actually to be honest with you is it A or I yes here we go apri so we need one impregnated casing 
surrounded by, well, slabs and logs. Impregnated coating is simply blocks of wood in the carpenter and it takes 0.25 seed oil to make an impregnated casing. Okay, so we, we should be getting logs in here now. We got 20 of those and 15 alder and some more seeds. So it actually did harvest that tree. That's a bit strange. So now we can put in here uh, like this yes and we want basically yeah I think three will be a good number to do we'll only be able to do two for the tabbing two is a good start so it comes up here we get an impregnated casing so it's got four thousand I think it only goes down at the end as you can see it's going up because of the seeds coming the seed oil coming in It went down about 300, that's fine. So now we only have four, we need eight. So that's how that works. So let's come over here. Slabs, yes, we got plenty. So just put those around the sides and put these across the top. It doesn't matter what the wood is, we'll get two aprons. Now the next thing we can do, is we shall go and put these down somewhere. And I reckon that he is out of range of the harvester, so here's a good place. Put those two down there. And uh, we need to go and get the bees, of course. Well, that's well done. I probably could do with the chest as well. So we'll take the... the pairs like this, and we'll go and get those started to start with. And the idea is that they will start to reproduce. But we do need another. And that will then tur turn to a queen and then it will slowly, over time, produce... Oh, what have I got here? Daylight. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be a problem because I planted it under a tree. Mm -hmm. I need a, an analyzer, but before I can get an analyzer, I've got to get bits and pieces working. And at the moment it is, it is actually daylight, let's have a look. What's it complaining about? I can't see. Let's press O and remove that. Sky obstructed, yes. Normal, that's fine. Bees need flowers. Okay, they do indeed. So if the sky is obstructed, I can cut this tree down. With an axe. And that should, but I don't want to cut this tree down because that's got on it. So let's take this queen out of here and chop the hive down. Taking a long time. So I'll just break that hive. Oh, well done. Must have used the wrong tool. Never mind. We shall go and make another one because I now have extra wood. Honestly. Here. It's a capture need it, isn't it? Uh, but it's different type of wood. This is oak. Doesn't matter very much. Let's put that down there. That was well done. What do I have to use to do that? I just also learned something about pneumatic craft while I'm on the subject. But wood's a relatively cheap resource these days, so it's not a problem. Another apri. Now I reckon the sky will not be obstructed. Well, it's still obstructed here, look. But we can sort that out, I think. So let's move this a bit here. And get rid of the 
leaves. Let's have a look now if the sapling. Oh, this is actually still obstructed. It is. It's just the one above, exactly above it, so I have to jot this one down. Now everything's good, except for it needs a flower. What is another flower? It doesn't need another flower. Now you can see it's actually working. Bees are flying out. And this one, let's put the queen in. And let's see what happens with this one. This one's also working, so we're getting forest bees. And of course, here we now got little patch of trees. Get out of the way, just in case one of those happens to grow up at the same time. Okay. But I'll put this. I'll put this oak sapling in here. See, now I've got nine spruce woods. So what I'm going to do is take those and make those another. Um, another carpenter. You probably need another one for when we get the next bees. And we can then try crossbreeding as well. But I also need a bealizer. But I've forgotten the recipe for that. Let's have a look. Let's make this first of all. Do we need for a beatalyzer? Let's turn back on the display. Press F to get to the bottom and type beatalyzer. B E. I think it's spelled strangely B E A or something like that. Maybe it's just spelled B E E. Oh, there we go. Beatalyzer. So we need to make this in the carpenter, this time with water, tin ingots, one diamond and two glass planes and tin ingots. Actually that's no problem, we can do that. So let's do that now. The trouble is in this one here it's full of seed oil. So I better make another carpenter. So have we got some bronze? Yes, we got plenty of bronze. Or tinker's alloy is the same. I want eight. We'll make a sturdy casing first of all. And then we want to go and make a carpenter. You generally do need two. One for the B. This is Tinker's Alloy and Glass. Okay, we've got plenty of glass. And then just need six Tinker's Alloy, which I probably could have picked up to start with. Good luck to the recipe to start with, of course. We just go around the sides of those and we get one carpenter which we can then put down beside the other carpenter pick up the torch press f7 because it's more than likely you're going to get something dark i wonder if i can put a torch on top of that let's just see if i can yes good a funny place for a torch so now we need to get some water in there so we can do that with buckets i, re I reckon let's go over here Oh, we've got three buckets. Let's see if we can right-click the bucket on here. Oh, I see it works perfectly. If, if I now look at the... In here we've got now a thousand water. So we need to make the bealizer. So what we needed was uh, a diamond. My last diamond. Oh dear. Put that. I think it was in the middle, but just, just to be absolutely sure, there's recipes here somewhere. If I click one of these, no, let me try to be Elijah again. Okay, it goes at the bottom, and the two planes and the tin ingots go there. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's put that there. So we need uh, redstone, we need tin. Glass panes. So, what does the order again? I think singles go down here, glass panes go in the middle, and redstone goes at the side. Is that correct? Yeah, wow. I 
get it right. I wonder how much water. It probably hasn't got enough water. I've got everything in there that I need. Let's get some water. Um. Still not enough water. Maybe that's four thousand buckets. Maybe we need five. it should be ready if I'm not mistaken did I actually supply this with any power no and I don't have any more energy conduit do I oh well done let's make some more energy conduit oh yes no one gets harvested oh gosh this is a let's have a look lead stone energy conduit fairly straightforward if I've got enough of everything which I just have I didn't pick up, but glass I do have. I also did pick up too, look. Oh, that's lead, isn't it? That's what the one I actually wanted. Right, good. So let's put this down the bottom here. So that should be getting power. And it's processing, so we will get one Bealizer. Well, now where's that glacial precipitator? It's here. And the induction smelter, right. I better put these down as well. So I want to put the glacial precipitator here. So then I can take a pipe from here and through the duct. And we shall put at the end of the chain here the induction smelter. It's a bit far away. We shall connect it up to. here of course we have a few mobs lying around we need to power these machines somehow takes a few seconds lots of flashing lights from the XP orbs which is probably a good thing now I've got 25 I had to go step back about I saw let's get rid of this thing don't want that Gunpowder, don't want. Must be rotting flesh there somewhere. So weird. There's another XP orb. Oh, and two spiders up there, we get rid of them. interesting so now with a glacial precipitator I wanted some ducks didn't I fluid ducks only got four left where have I got am I doing here so I take uh, this one like this it should connect up perfect but I obviously don't need it connecting to the tank so we can then simply right click this part here and it disappears into here so now this I don't want to click it with the here so I just want to take that one it should be getting into the no RF it's full that's good it's enabled on low so if I turn it on and this will make snow or ice we need to make some ice actually to turn that on but it's got no water in so we need to then shift click the middle button so we want the water to come in at the top so let's have a look there we go and here we are we are now making ice but it probably would be a good idea to have some redstone control on this and for that we'll use a switch at the front So 
Totally in the off position, turn it on, and it's now working as you can see. Okay. Now, why all was that important? That's important for these catalysts. So if we want um, a potion of flight, it's actually, a, I think we have to use simple binding agents and stuff like this. This one. And we have to use this, we have to use crystallis. And the crystallis is made with ice and snow and a simple catalyst. Simple catalyst is made with sugar, redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, and that's it. So, and with a, a magician's blood orb or a master blood orb, so if we're fine, we can do that one. In fact, actually, even a weak blood orb, that's so any of these will make a simple catalyst. So, let's go and do that first. In fact, I'll save that to the next episode because at the moment I've done 29 minutes of this segment, and I shall see you then. Until now. Bye for now.